What's up, YouTubers of the world? Mega Geek Mixer here to give you guys my reaction to the latest chapter of One Piece. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and give you my quick thoughts on the last chapter that I read before I come into this video here. And that is in the fact that, man, what some funny stuff and interesting situations we got in that last chapter. We find out King's real name is Albert. And then <laughs> the funniest thing about Zoro with his usual gags. And here's the funny thing is this one should be so and like this should have been Luffy here because you would think Luffy does this and instead it's Zoro who finally looks notices the Imperi the Seraphims and their Lunarian abilities and he actually mentioned some key points that it should have been known when he mentions the hair the skin color the wings and the flame on the back and that was just so funny I was like oh Zoro you should have known then even Luffy Luffy Luigi and Gaku thought that was just too much and then of course you had Nami Brooke and Sanji taking on Jinbei Jr. while you also had the S S Snake Seraphim Boa Hancock taking on Usopp and Frankie but unfortunately they got turned to stone and then finally you had someone shoot that Shaka Vegapunk I wonder who that was I don't know but we're about to find out at least I think so in this chapter either way now I haven't gave you my thoughts on that I'm gonna go ahead and let's start this new chapter i'm ready for it okay it's called chapter 1078 escape limit <laughs> escape limit i want wait well the government is out there outside of egg keg and they're probably making sure there's no escape so let's hope dr vegapunk has at least one secret base that he never told anyone in the government about either way let's be moving on uh, lab interior egghead the island of the future oh, okay. tomorrow's communicating with Stussy and Jimbe CP0 was meant to wait for his arrival after eliminating the doctor far far more severe than O'Hara forbidden research <laughs> oh no okay and that makes perfect sense why why they think this is the government considers this more than ohara dr vegapunk has taken their research has surpassed their research and taken it further no wonder then there's so many of them coming i mean we already knew why they were coming because he seems to have known too much of stuff he shouldn't have been touching and now we're finding out that it's more than that he, he went further and i can see why that would make them want to come after vegapunk but man they better hurry up yeah even Sintamaru is saying that oh he's even telling the citizens to get out of there well, all I can say is I hope they can get out of there if possible, because <laughs> I look that place is surrounded. Like I said, Vegapunk better have some secret passages he never told the government. Uh, okay, we're back with S Snake taking on Usab, one of uh, Stella Vegapunk, and Frankie. Who, yeah, Frankie is just stone too, but luckily half of his his um body is, and so uh maybe that's good uh, i don't know <laughs> who ordered you to do this she says wow what was that what's this wait i said wait did someone just command s snake to stop uh okay because I know the reason they're now attacking is because of the five, one of the five elder stars having made his appearance and gave that command. But it looks like w w another, someone else has shown up and has been able to stop those guys. Okay, second floor. Ah, Robin and Chopper. <laughs> one thing's for sure, when Nami screams, a certain someone will always dash. <laughs> And that is true, because that is exactly what happened. <laughs> uh, is that any good, though? Since they're all fighting, if something happens to Vegapunk's main body while they're distracted. A room that's been sealed off for a while now. Hmm. I wonder if that room might be their saving grace to get off that island. And what do we, oh, back over to 
Danami's group as they face the Jimbe clone. <laughs> the Seraphim Jimbe, that is. Whoa, it, it doesn't... He just punched Sanji, and Sanji's just like, don't act so surprised. This is my undying power of love. Of course, we know that's more to it than that, but still, for that... For that and Seraphim to hit him right in the face and he just takes it like, dude, has his hockey really gone up in the armament department or something? Or is that his, uh, his gene alteration due to the germ of 66? I don't know. <laughs> that, no, nah, that has to be germ of 66. It, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Luffy and the gang still fighting S-Bear and S-Hawk. Huh. As Hawks disappeared, eliminating your weaker friends would rally your stronger fighters and handicap them. Oh, it must be going after some of the some of the others. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Luffy called Gaku Usopp. Do I know why? Because of the nose. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Ah, Gatling. <laughs> Use his pathetic brain, Luigi says. Uh, that's Luffy, Luigi. He ain't using his brain. You of all people would think you knew that. Oh, we're back to Jury Bonnie. Oh, she looks devastated. What all did she see in that, in that memory palm? I hate, I'm afraid to say it, but I don't think I want to know. But I'm sure I'm going to know, and I'm going to wish I had known. <laughs> Either way, what's this thing they're saying? The infamous egghead incident. However, the wheels of this tale were set into motion three months ago. Really? Oh, and we're even getting what happened three months ago prior. I want to speak to somebody with power. Dr. Vegapunk is researching the Void Century. CB5 agents were dispatched. So that's where the C, those CP, CP agents came from. The ones that are stuck in, down in Egghead right now in that prison. Interesting. And someone's reporting to the world government. But the question is, who was reporting? Could it be whoever shot Shaka? I don't know, but let's keep reading here. Mysteriously disappeared as an attempt to leave Egghead. Yeah, I was right. So they're basically confirming what what we now are putting together. Those CP agents who were sent there never came back. Five elder stars and this individual totally exposed the full extent of the genius scientist's treachery. They decide, <laughs> and no doubt, after reporting to the five elder stars, it this is where it came. To them deciding it's time to wait. Five elders anticipate Vegapunk who would resist, so they sent their own, escorted by Admiral Kizuru. So that explains why one of the five elder stars is there, and why they're reinforced with so many admiral ship. I well not admiral ships, but marine marine branches of the of the marine ships. Oh boy, navies or whatever. <laughs> and basically all of this concludes into why we're in this position right now <laughs> man this is nuts this is all you're doing oh so we are going to get the reveal reveal who is it that shot that guy but who is it huh Stella one of the one of the Vegapunks but a celestial dragon? She wants to be a celestial dragon? What? What's going on here? Uh, okay, let me read. Let me read first. Oh, wait. That, that's York. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I was thinking that was someone else. Excuse me on that one. <laughs> Vegapunk finds it odd why she want to be that because he acknowledges how they're scum too <laughs> well not so much how he's dead it's hard to keep track of all of us vegapunks right 
Honestly, the world really doesn't need more of us. Hmm. Okay, okay. So, basically, what what York is saying is that she's betraying Vegapunk because, she, for one, she wants to be a celestial dragon, and she feels there's too many Vegapunks and there doesn't need to be any more Vegapunks, and that's why she did what she did, but also because she wants to be a celestial dragon. <laughs> I'm not sure that necessarily answers Vegapunk's question on why she shot him and stuff like that, but all I just know is very interesting plot twist here, and yet, if you really think about it, it's not really that hard to believe. I mean, okay, so this York Vegapunk here is betraying all the Vegapunks because too many Vegapunks to, to do with here, and in some way I can get that, but still, what's why do you want to be a Celestial Dragon? But it still don't make sense. And we still don't know all of what Jory Bonnie saw. And I really want to see it. And yet I'm somehow, once I see it, I'm going to be like, why did I keep saying that? But hey, that's what happens when it comes to a story. You want to know more about it. You want to get into more detail. And when you do, you're like, oh boy. Or like, yes, ah. <laughs> that's just always the beauty about storytelling. This is why you got to love One Piece. Every crammy bit there. And you're just like, why this? Why that? What can we expect next? What can we expect after that? Oh, that's such a genius. I love this guy to death. He just never stops making me love this series so much. But now having said all that, guys, what a great chapter this was. So, so much here, like more progressions on the fight and everything and situations developing. But finally, we got even further detail on how it is the government is now there. We knew they were there to eliminate Vegapunk and we find out it's because of him researching Void Century, which we already knew about, but it's because he went further with it than they than the scholars of O'Hara did and this just means bad bad news so oh man just gotta wonder how are they gonna escape from it because no doubt that island's now surrounded with so many powerful marines and one of the five elder stars Oh, the possibilities are just endless, but I'm done now. I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and leave it all at that. And like always, if you enjoy my reaction videos, all you got to do is click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to be notified when I make more videos. And until then, Make Geek Mixer, signing out. Bye.